Hey, hey, welcome back to the Zero Excuses Podcast. My name is Kenyon Ziska. Thank you for tuning in to the Wheel Book Wednesday edition of the show. This is my short show where I share a strategy, some tips, some tricks, a random thought I might have had over the past week or so. Share it with you so that you can take it forward, implement it into your life, and and accelerate your growth to the results that you want. So today what I wanted to share with you are four of my key elements to have a killer morning routine. Now, the reason I wanted to bring this to you is because I kind of got off track on my morning routine, and I definitely, definitely noticed how it threw off my entire day. And with the holidays, we just had Thanksgiving and Christmas or, or any number of other holidays, no matter where you're, where you're listening to this podcast from, uh, that's definitely going to throw a little bit of a monkey wrench into our uh, day-to-day routines, and I thought it would be a good, good subject to talk about with uh, with all that in mind. So, why is a morning routine important to begin with? Well, for me at least, it gives me a reason and something to look forward to uh, to get my ass moving and out of bed. It sets the tone for the day for me, and it gets a good amount of wins under my belt before I even walk out my front door for the day. And if you get your morning right, you're going to get your day right, you're going to get your week right, you're going to get your month, your quarter, your year, and then ultimately your life right. So uh, it's it's a good building block for, for getting wins and getting momentum. And, you know, I didn't come up with this all on my own. Definitely uh, implemented a whole bunch of uh, different things from uh, different people, but the number one book out there is The Miracle Morning uh, by Hal Elrod. That was probably a big, big game changer, and I highly recommend you guys pick that up. Uh, but his his big um, idea and acronym that he uses in the book is the SAVERS method, and it stands for silence, affirmations, visualization, exercise, reading, and scribing. And, you know, I, all four of these things uh, hit those points. And, you know, it's, it's four very simple things that, uh, above all else, you can, uh, you can really implement and change the game for yourself. And, and also, there's a big uh, stress reduction that I notice uh, when, when my morning routine is right and, and I'm just, and there's just simply a peace of mind knowing what you're going to be doing for the first 60 to 90 minutes during the day. It's going to reduce your stress, like I said. And I notice when, when I know exactly what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it the next morning, I just sleep easier and I sleep, get a better night's rest. Two quick things I want to mention before I jump into these four key elements uh, one prerequisite is you got to plan your day the night before. Uh, this is probably something for an entire podcast episode of its own, but you know this is a prerequisite to uh, to some of these things that I talk about. And the other thing I want to mention is avoid checking your phone, your email, Facebook, your social media accounts first thing in the morning. There's nothing worse uh, than priming yourself with negative thoughts or negative energy uh, that, that sometimes appears in Facebook or even in some of my, uh, some of my email messages. Uh, so just also keep that in mind. So here they are, the four key elements to having a killer morning routine. Number one, um, I like to have what I call a daily mission briefing. So what that looks like is I review my vision, my general doc- doctrine, which is my version of affirmations, my plan of the day, which, like I just mentioned, is something that I, I crafted the night before, and then I also review my quarterly goals. Uh, this basically sets the stage for what I need to accomplish for the day, and by reviewing my vision and my goals and backing that up with my general doctrine on how I approach uh, my day and the different situations that I'll, that I'll find myself in during the day, it, it, it really just gets me, gets my mind thinking in the right direction, thinking positive thoughts, and keeping my eye on the prize. And it also keeps me from deviating from that plan because we can uh, craft a good plan for the day the night before, and then if we don't sit down and review it again and pick it up and keep that at the forefront of our mind, we're, we're going to naturally start to deviate from it. 
So number two is journaling, and that immediately follows my mission briefing. And it helps me, again, keep negative thoughts from entering my mind. And I always ask myself four key questions. And sometimes I'll I'll write more than this, but I always ask myself these four questions. And that is, what am I looking forward to doing today? What lesson from yesterday will I implement today? And who are three people who I will connect with today? And what is the one thing that I need to do above all else if I want to reach my goals? One thing that I need to do today. So the purpose of that last question is if my plan absolutely goes to shit and does my day does not go according to plan whatsoever, what is the one thing from that that uh, schedule that I needed to get done above all else. So number three, move the body. Exercise like Hal Elrod said in, in his book. Uh, for me, uh, that looks like just doing 10 push-ups, 10 sit-ups, 10 squats, or some people I've heard do a full, you know, five, 10 minute uh, quick workout first thing in the morning. Uh, I always go to the, go to the gym every single morning. You know, I wake up at 4.30 and and I head to the gym after my morning routine. I'm always at the gym by six. But you know, whatever whatever works for you, implement some sort of physical movement first thing in the morning. Uh, and I would encourage you to do that uh, almost immediately after getting out of bed. I mean, some some people get up a lot earlier than their wives, like I do. And first thing I do is uh, you know handle my business in the bathroom. Then I then I head out into the uh, kitchen, and living room, and uh, do my exercise. But the purpose of that is it gets the blood flowing, it improves your physical and mental energy, it it prepares the mind and wakes the body. It's research shows that exercising first thing in the morning is better than a cup of coffee. Now I do exercise and a cup of coffee, so uh, that works for me. But anyways, it, this is also a huge win when when we're able to accomplish our get our physical goal one of our physical goals out of the way first thing in the morning, it builds confidence, it builds that discipline that you need, and it spills over into all other areas of your life. And another point of research has shown that exercising first thing in the morning will also improve your sleep the uh, you know in the evening. And it also improves your mood. It releases endorphins that uh, last all day. And what if you don't know what endorphins are, they're quite simply your body's natural feel good uh, drug, and you know if you can get that in, going into your system first thing in the morning, your your chances are you're going to have a much better day. And then the last, the fourth element to my killer morning routine is meditation. Now I know when people hear that, sometimes they think uh, pie in the sky, woo woo, cheesy, corny whatever, but don't knock it until you try it. Uh, for me, it has radically improved my focus. It's radically reduced the amount of negative thoughts that, uh, that pop into my mind. And what meditation will allow you to do is, is take half a step back and observe your thoughts. And it allows you to actually process them instead of just allowing those thoughts to take seed, whether they're positive or negative. Meditation has given me that uh, that strategic pause when when certain thoughts enter my mind, and it allows me that time to um, to have that mental muscle to to decide whether this thought is uh, is going to be serving me or holding me back from something, or if I just need to think about something a little bit differently. So to briefly go over exactly what meditation looks like for me, exactly how do I execute my meditation. Um, essentially I wrap three of Hal Elrod's, uh, points, silence, affirmations, and visualization. I wrap that into my meditation routine. So I sit down and I box breathe for two to four minutes. And what box breathing is, is you breathe in for five seconds, hold it for five seconds, exhale for five seconds, then hold, hold for another five seconds, or it could be four seconds, six seconds, whatever works for you. So all I'm doing is I am 
paying attention to my breathing and nothing else. If I find myself um, having a thought, I wipe it clean and, and focus simply on my breath. You know, it's so hard for all of us to just sit silently and not think about anything except for paying attention to one thing. And, you know, this, this technique has, has really changed the game for me and has allowed me to focus. So I, I, I'll box breathe for two to three minutes. And, uh, based on what I wrote about during my journaling, what I need to do, uh, for example, I had to sit down and record podcasts today. So what my mantra is when I was, uh, meditating was I speak clearly and concisely. I speak clearly and concisely. So I do that for two to four minutes. And then once I'm done doing that, um, you know, I don't time myself. I, you know, I have a uh, fairly good mental clock, but uh, after I'm done with that mantra, I will think about a, an element of my vision this morning. Um, one thing that I was thinking about was, was, uh, you know, having a house on the beach and waking up and, and seeing the ocean, seeing the sunrise over the ocean. And that's, that's what I thought about during my, uh, during my visualization. So there you have it. Those are my four key elements to crafting a killer morning routine. I'd love to hear what all your morning routines look like. Shoot me a quick email, kenyan.ziska at gmail.com, or join our closed Facebook group over at facebook.com slash groups slash zero excuses. And remember, excuses is spelled without the E-X-C-U-S-E-S. And if you're looking to take all this to the next level, you need some accountability, you need the systems, the routines, the habits, and the camaraderie that comes with working with people who are on the same journey that you are, I encourage you to check out our mastermind group, the Infinite Results Mastermind. You can check that out at kenyanzitska.com slash results. And if you're looking to get those ultimate next level results and you need that one-on-one accountability, that one-on-one customization of these habits and routines that we talk about here all the time. I also encourage you to check out the one-on-one discipline coaching program that I offer. This is only for those who want to dedicate the time, energy, and money into getting the results that they want in their lives. You can check that out at kenyanziska.com slash discipline. You'll fill out a short survey and have the opportunity to schedule a 60-minute consultation with me to see if you're a good fit. And I look forward to talking with you. All right, guys, so there you have it. Four key elements to a killer morning routine. Daily mission briefing, journaling, move the body, exercise, and meditation. All right, thanks again for tuning in, and I will talk with you guys again soon.